opening this list is rock band VR. Music and VR seem both a weird and a fantastic match, especially with a franchise as big as Rock Band. If you're wondering how in the world these two can work together, well then here you go. How is it possible, you ask? Well, the guitar controller is still central to the experience, but with a twist. The VR puts you on stage, literally, with your virtual bandmates. To play, players can't play wrong chords compared to the original version. Instead, they create a sense of musical awareness as chords fly out of the screen to match perfectly with your guitar's neck. Its vibrant colors mixed with promising song choices makes you feel like a real rock star. The game requires an Oculus Touch to play and a handheld controller to work with it. Sure, it's weird, but hey, as long as no one sees you playing, it's okay, right? This game is set to release sometime soon, hopefully in 2017. Ninth place is Ace Combat 7. For 20 years, the Ace Combat series has always been proving new grounds with each installment. From the classic air combat up to the latest release, it continues to be the pinnacle of intense dogfights while maintaining a sense of direction to the development of the series. This is the first of the series to be released on the 8th generation platform. Not much details have been revealed, but what we do know is that they're pushing the limits of airborne supremacy. And look at those FA-22 and Sukhoi-30 duke it out, followed by a mothership unleashing XB-like UAVs swarm. Oh yeah, the VR scene is about to truly immerse fans into the skies with graphics that are more realistic and explosive dogfights. We're just pumped about this announcement and could not wait for more details. It'll be released on the PS4 with the PSVR-only exclusives. As for the launch date, we're hoping it's 2017. On number 8 is Landfall, Oculus Touch exclusive. In a world filled with nature's wealth, there's bound to be conflict. Humanity has lost its way in the conservation of natural resources, and we are doomed. Greed has engulfed the big nations, and what's left is a grand war to control resources. Landfall is a sci-fi real-time strategy game. Its developer forced Field's first entry to the virtual and augmented reality. This RTS game promises a new evolution to tactical gameplay. You get to see what's happening in the battlefield in third-person view. Then switch to first-person view if you want in on the action. Everything is just so chaotic. Control your faction, select your army, and watch as you play God in an exploding skirmish of fire and brimstone. With a multiplayer feature that promises new grounds and a campaign to keep solo players satisfied, this game might change the future of the VR in RTS. It's set to release sometime in 2017 for the Oculus Rift. Seventh on the list is Farpoint. This game takes the idea of being stranded on a hostile planet filled with unknowns. Unknown environment, unknown atmosphere, unknown location. And most interesting of all, unknown creatures. It's like Sigourney Weaver trapped on a derelict ship with that xenomorph. Farpoint, however, has more surprises in store because you are an entire planet. Save your missing crew in an anomaly happening near Jupiter. What could go wrong, right? Because it's no survival horror. You get to shoot back with a PSVR aim controller. And yes, another peripheral that you have to buy if you want the whole experience. The gameplay takes VR scene to a sci-fi adventure that might be worthy of cosmic proportions. Its first-person shooter element brings out so many creeps for players afraid of creepy crawlies and aliens. The game uses the PS Move controller to take the problem to your own hands. As usual, details have been scarce, but we'll be seeing this game sometime in 2017 exclusively on the PS4. In sixth place is The Works of Mercy. No, it's not that famous painting, and no, it's not that Overwatch character that we love. In fact, it's a psychological horror that might take you on one scary and memorable trip to hell and back. According to the devs, it is a personal tragedy of a wrecked psyche. It even carries the ominous tagline, a deeply disturbing, horribly convincing video game in which a protagonist is forced to do the killing. Yes, you heard that right, you play as the murderer. Why? Only through playing will you ever find out. Powered by the Unreal Engine 4, explore a mysterious house filled with mysteries that could shake your life forever. 
question how you ended up in your situation as you bask yourself into the Unreal Engine 4's photorealistic graphics, all in VR form. Taking inspiration from Kubrick and other horror masterpieces, we hope it does not disappoint. It's set to release sometime in 2017. Ramp number 5 is Oculus Exclusive's Lone Echo. Many believe this game could end the chore of walking around virtual reality. I mean, it can be tiring, you know, even nauseating having to navigate around the VR world by walking. Lone Echo proposes a clever workaround. Strip the walking part and introduce a new movement formula that feels natural in space and surreal at the same time. Floating. In this game, you are a robot tasked to do repair or to do mechanical overhauls on a ship in deep space. Every motion is controlled by how you push and pull your hands along ledges using the Oculus Touch. This makes for a seamless navigation around the game's beautiful backdrops. The free-flowing effects introduces the player to a whole new VR experience. It's a deep and enthralling experience that is unfortunately exclusive to the Oculus Rift with Touch. We can't wait for it to hit the shelves and take us to magical feelings that no VR has offered yet. Stay tuned this 2017! Fourth is how we soar. Ubisoft introduced Eagle Flight to test the limits of VR in a casual flying simulator. Sony has now its own brand of the genre, How We Soar. Take control of an enchanting phoenix in a world that is gradually created by the player. Use your DualShock controller to navigate this iconic creature to soar through the skies, hover, and traverse around an enchanting and maybe magical sky. Its unique papercraft art style takes players into a page-turning experience of immersion and the game heavily relies on travel and exploration to find the deeper meaning of the world you're into. According to the game, it's like painting by flight. And you get to set the pace, fly fast, or glide through the pages and uncover new chapters in the author's life. This kind of reminds me of Okami. It's PlayStation VR exclusive set to release sometime in 2017. For number 3 is Killing Floor Incursion Oculus Exclusive. What could be more perfect for this iconic horror shooter franchise? Tripwire Interactive brings out the big guns with Incursion. This virtual reality shooter will put what we loved about the Killing Floor series and integrate it to a more real, thrilling, and fun experience. Team up as you and your friends are elite special forces tasked to eliminate these diabolical creatures. Insane weapons are at your disposal, and creepy character designs will surely pump the carnage. As usual, exact gameplay details are scarce. Unfortunately for most players, it's an Oculus Touch exclusive. It has gained several negative feedbacks due to its exclusivity, but hey, what can we do? Catch them killing the floor this 2017! Second in the list is Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. Ah, Resident Evil 7, we meet again! There seems to be no stopping the hype train for this one. We've showcased it a couple of times on other top upcoming lists. Considering its deviation from the previous series, it's gonna be worth our time. I mean, we all hope so. Capcom removes the third-person element and puts the first-person perspective in the helm. It won't be easy to get used to, but it looks like it's gonna be fun. Typewriters are back, crazy villagers are back, and judging from the recent trailer, new monster types. Gross. This virtual reality experience will surely leave players a terrible scar. Trauma? Maybe. Demo testers also reported VR sickness minutes into the game. Uh-huh, hope this gets sorted out before its January 24, 2017 release on the PSVR. And our most anticipated VR game this 2017 is Oculus Exclusive's Robo Recall. Now this is something any VR enthusiast will appreciate and enjoy. From the ashes of the bullet train demo that Epic Games released, they have evolved to this action-packed shooter that not only provides endless fun, but it's also free! In a game where rogue robots are taking over, you are left with nothing but to destroy these threats at any way you see fit. In your arsenal are various weapons, ranging from your bare hands to high-powered machine guns. Shoot him, punch him in the head, smash him together, or basically anything that the Oculus Touch allows you to do. The game heavily relies on the player's reflexes, skills, and awareness to totally annihilate these pesky robots. 
No release date as of the moment, but we'll get to see it once Oculus Touch launches, probably in 2017. What VR games are you looking forward to in 2017? Share them in a comment below. And pre-order some of these games by clicking the links below. We publish three gaming videos every week, so don't miss out on any of them. Click that bell button beside the subscribe button, check the send me box, and save. Don't forget to like and share this video to your friends. Subscribe now and follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Google+.